Welcome to Book Club. In today's episode, I'm going to be speaking about books on golf. And I've got loads here in my collection because golf books were the first books that I started reading. I started playing golf as a young man when I left school and I'd have enough of drinking. And I wanted to improve my golf game. I wanted to um, learn a lot about the history and the lives of the great players. And so I began reading, buying and collecting golf books. And there's four different subcategories that I'm going to share with you today. There's general introduction and sort of historical books. Then there's some really great instructional books then I'm going to move on to the, some psychological books on golf psychology and I'm going to finish with golf biography. And so there's so many here in this collection that I'm going to have to just touch on each one briefly uh, so that we can get through them all. So I'm going to begin with some general books on golf. So to begin with, here's a book on the, the history of golf. And depending on when a golf book was published will depend who's on the front cover. And this is Tom Watson. So this is quite an old book uh, before the era of Tiger Woods. And yeah, this is just like a like an encyclopedia. It's quite big and bulky. It's got a lot of images and it goes through the history of golf and tells you all about some of the great players and the great tournaments that had been played. This next one's called Total Golf. And it's more of an instructional book. It goes through and analyzes a lot of different golf swings, gives you a lot of drills that you can do. And there's even some instruction about if you have a certain type of shot shape, how you can go about remedying that and hitting the ball straighter and more accurate. So that's a good one. Again, another very general one on total golf. And this last one from this category is an encyclopedia of golf techniques and this is a, a more modern publication because as you can see there's Tiger Woods on the front there and yeah this one just goes through all the different sort of techniques swinging uh, yeah really it's a, a, an encyclopedia and it goes through all swinging chipping pitching sand play um, putting and chipping off the green and it, it talks a little bit about all of that and I think many different world-renowned golfers have um, contributed articles to this book and yeah it's just a, a really good introduction and overview to the whole range of, of the game of golf. Now we move on to the golf instructional books. This one, How to Break 90 Consistently and yeah this one's quite an old book published in 1976 so it's probably a little bit outdated now but like all of the golf instructional books, they begin at the beginning with the grip, the stance, the posture, and then they go on the takeaway, the backswing, the transition, you know, impact position, through swing, and then they talk about all the different aspects of the game. So this one's probably a little bit outdated now, but I think a lot of the, the classic golf books, which I'm going to get on to next, are, are really, you know, th there's the real good classic ones, and that's what I've got next for you. And this next one is The Modern Fundamentals of Golf by Ben Hogan. And this one still holds water even in today's modern age. Uh, and this is the one of the first golf books I got. And I, I read it quite diligently and got a lot of lessons and tried to put these, um, these fundamentals into play in my own golf swing and golf game. And you, you see this, uh, this line drawing on the front, it, all throughout the book, there's, there's many different line drawings of, again, all these different aspects of golf, the grip, the stance and posture, the first part of the swing, the second part of the swing, and the summary and review. So this one, if you want to learn about how to swing the golf club, I'd highly recommend that. And then another one of the same calibre is Jack Nicklaus's uh, My 55 Ways to Lower Your Golf Score. And this was published after um, Ben Hogan's. And if I'm honest, I think he's, he's copied it really because a lot of the line drawings are very similar. And how it's laid out is very similar to Ben Hogan's Modern Fundamentals. So I imagine someone in Jack Nicklaus's camp has, has said, oh, Ben Hogan's book selling really well. Why don't we get all of your knowledge and wisdom and put it into a book and, and share that and publish that? But again, very good because Jack Nicklaus, arguably the best golfer that's ever lived and unless Tiger Woods um, equals or surpasses his 18 majors, then it's going to be unarguable. But if Tiger Woods were to 
reach and then maybe surpass Jack Nicklaus's major record, then he would be the best golfer that ever lived without question. And these next two are, are my real favourites. They're not for everyone. So if you don't like to read deeply and study, uh, I don't recommend these. But if you want to get a whole lot of wisdom about the short game and putting, then I would recommend them. These two are fantastic. I love these uh, dearly, these books. Dave Pelz's Short Game and Putting Bible. And like I say, they're very thick books. They're like, if you imagine science textbooks from when you was at high school, that's what it is. It's a science textbook. Dave Pelz uh, began his career as a NASA scientist and played amateur golf, but loved the game. And he decided he wanted, he wanted to bring his his understanding of physics and mathematics into the game of golf and he published these books yeah the book about putting anything that you want to know about putting will be in there and anything that you want to know about the short game is in the short game bible like they say they are the bibles and for many years i had um these two dave pells and also ben hogan and i would study religiously and go out and play and practice so they're the books on golf instruction next I'm gonna move on to the golf psychology now there's many different um, golf coaches mental coaches they call them now I think or golf psychologists sports psychologists therapists you know mind coaches whatever you want to call them but there's there's one um, author and psychologist that I found early on and I stuck with him throughout and I like his principles and how he talks about the game and I've got four of his books but I'm going to end with the one that I think is the best. Here we have uh, The Golfer's Mind, How to Play Great. His name's Bob Rotella. This one is The Golf of Your Dreams. This was his first publication. And then the final one is Your 15th Club, The Secret to Great Golf. And this one is about, he's calling the 15th Club uh, confidence, having confidence to play golf. But my favourite of all, and you can see this one's been really well read, is called Golf Is Not A Game Of Perfect by Bob Rotella. And I think I'm going to do a, an individual video on this book because there's so much great information and wealth in there. And I've uh, read it and I've made notes and in the beginning I've even draw, drawn all over it, you know, uh, annotating and summarising all of the, the wisdom and information in there. And yeah, I feel that... I, I read a lot about golf instruction and how to play, but it wasn't until I came across Bob Rotella's work and, and the mind and the mental game that I really took my game to the next level. And yeah, I owe a lot to Bob Rotella and, and his writings because I feel they really helped me and helped me uh, move up to a next level. So now we're going to get into the, the biography books. So golf biography. I've got a few here. These are all my golf biography books and there's a few uh, that are absolute classics. Some of them, a few of them I'm just going to skim over because they didn't really grab me that deeply and there's others that I've read multiple times. So a few that didn't really grab me but just interesting if you want to get them. One is uh, Tony Jacqueline. He's uh, uh, an English golfer. Another one is Greg Norman. He's... Um, an Australian golfer, he's more famous than anything for, for choking really, for for not playing a very good shot in a in a position where he needed a shot and yeah in the golf game they, they call it, he's a bit of a choker because he had opportunities to win several majors and he wasn't able to close them out and Colin Montgomery uh, in the golf world they argue that he's the best player never to have won a major because he won eight European order of merit titles which is like the european uh, league and he won eight of those but he's never won a major and so now i'm going to get into the real classics i've spoken about this one on the channel before this was the first book that i read as an adult nick faldo's life swings and he's won six majors three opens and three masters titles uh, yeah this one's a, a really good one i highly recommend that another one is John Daly, John Daly here, my life in and out of the rough. They all have got, uh, a lot of them have got golf puns as, as the subtitle. And this one's really good because you learn a lot about why he is 
how he is and that's why I really love biographies because it gives you a window into the person's life and you can start to form an idea of why the person is like they are and when you read John Daly's book you realize why he is how he is. Uh, another really good one is uh, and a classic uh, the Bobby Jones story so Bobby Jones he never turned professional he played all of his golf as an amateur and he was a very uh, high quality lawyer as well and he won uh, the US Amateur, US Open, the British Amateur and the British Open I think in the same year or definitely in his career and so he's arguably without doubt the best amateur golfer ever and he is one of the men who helped to found Augusta National Golf Club so yeah in regards golf history he's up there right at the top um, the next one I definitely recommend this uh, My Story by Jack Nicklaus brilliant story uh, he's a brilliant man and it's just a brilliant bio uh, biography I'll, I'll share one one story with you I went on holiday to Tenerife and, and on the way home I was reading it and I, I'd come to the end towards the end of the book and there's a story in there where he was probably doing too much he, he wasn't young anymore he had a family and he was doing golf course designs and I think he'd been flying here flying there played a tournament and didn't play well and he got off the aeroplane I think he was in Japan and <laughs> he writes it how he writes it uh, it like comes across real funny he gets off the aeroplane and a reporter's there a Japanese reporter and it's written uh, in this way and uh, the reporter says Mr. Nickraus, Mr. Nickraus, why you shoot 82 <laughs> and he writes you know he's he's just got off the plane and he's got a camera and a microphone in his face and 82 is not a very good score for one of the best golfers that ever lived so that was really funny and I was on the aeroplane and I was really laughing for about five minutes another one just as good maybe even better is Ben Hogan uh, the authorised biography, again, fantastic book. When I was young, Ben Hogan was sort of my idol because of his, his work ethic and how much he played and practised and how high his standards were. Sadly, most of mine was more in my mind. I would dream about being like Ben Hogan, but I would really put the work in. And the final one I want to talk about is uh, this one, Sir Walter Hagen. The flamboyant life of Walter Hagen. This one's really good because, again, he's um, it, it's history as well. Uh, he was lived during the 1920s. So this one and Bobby Jones as well. Not only do you get uh, a story of golf history, you also get a story of history in general. What America was like in the 1920s. What life was like in the 1920s and 30s. And so by reading these golf biographies, not only did I get an insight into golf, but I got an insight into history. And that's why books are great and why I love them. And yeah, they're my books on golf. Like I say, all of those have a, a real um, key place in my heart because I've had them for about 15, 20 years, most of those. I've read most of them numerous times and they've helped me to learn more about life and definitely learn more about golf. So I hope you enjoyed that episode about my books on golf. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Tell a friend who might like golf as well and can pick up one of those to help improve their game. And I'll see you soon.